Hi everyone, today is day 4 of Inktober and the prompt is radio. The first thing that came to mind for this one is to draw an old fashioned radio and I couldn't find a picture that I really liked. So then I decided to make the portrait of a radio host and the first one that came to mind was Garrison Keller. He hosted a fun radio show on NPR every weekend for many, many years called A Prairie Home Companion until just a, a couple years ago. And I think that would probably have been a, a face that a lot of people would recognize. But then again, maybe not. <laughs> so I decided to go for something else. But then I had another idea and decided to draw the Eiffel Tower. Because the Eiffel Tower is very iconic. It's known by everyone, pretty much. In fact, it's the most visited paid monument in the world. So I thought that if I drew this, everybody would recognize it. And it was built in the 1880s. And it's not till the early 1900s that it became a radio tower. They added an antenna on the very top and became a radio tower. In the 1950s, it also turned into a TV tower. But anyway, I thought a radio tower would be good for the radio prompt. So that's what I chose. And I found a very nice old photo of it that I decided to use as my reference. It was a bit blurry, not blurry, but almost pixelated. You could tell it was not a very good quality, but I thought it would look very nice if I drew it on my Tontan paper as if it was old paper. And because I couldn't see all the details on the photograph, I immediately thought of my Cuddle Lola dots pen. I just wanted to uh, draw it with dots. And uh, again, because I couldn't see the details, I thought I would just draw the, the shapes, the black shapes that I could see and that the uh, image would form. So I had a blast doing it. At first, the very top of it, I didn't really draw it the right size. It was too narrow, so eventually I noticed it and I was able to fix that a bit. And also I noticed that on the reference photo, the first level, you can see just rounded parts that I had never noticed before. And I looked at more recent photos and that's because now it's so flat. I'm not quite sure exactly what it is. It could be that now it's more protected and it's maybe a roof over it so you can see the the rounded parts my guess is that over the years there's been a lot of people just climbing on top of the Eiffel Tower but from the outside and also a lot of people jumping off of it so it could very well be that now they put a protection so people could not jump off of it and hurt themselves Fun fact, I went to visit it in 1996, the day before I had to take a plane to go to the US. And my husband and I went to the very top and um, and then we got stuck. The Eiffel Tower ended up in a lockdown because somebody was trying to jump off of it. And so everybody got stuck on whatever level they were and we had to wait for quite a while. We were a bit stressed out because yeah, we had to go back home to get everything ready to leave the country the following day. But we get to see the sunset from the top, which was really pretty. And we're going to remember that visit for the rest of our lives. So I'm really pleased with the way this turned out. I really think it looks like an old fashioned photograph. I love the stippling. It kind of looks like an old photo from a newspaper or something. But anyway, I really liked it. And I'm very pleased that I picked this photo as a reference. Thank you all for stopping by. I'll see you tomorrow for day five of Inktober. Bye bye.